What's up, guys? Politics Gaming here, and today we are doing a, uh, a discussion on Superpower 3. The best way to say it is Superpower 3 is dead. Superpower 3 has been announced dead at approximately about 7 o'clock earlier today, Central Time. And essentially what had happened is that THQ left the Discord server, and we got a confirmation about two hours later from Jean René himself, and he has confirmed to me that uh, Superpower 3 has lost its publisher, and Golem Labs has lost their publisher, uh, THQ Nordic. So THQ is completely out of the game now, and they have officially said that they are not the, uh, the, the publishers of Golem Labs or Superpower 3. However, they never directly said that they are not the publishers anymore. They essentially just left the Discord server and left uh, Golem with the bag. They essentially lit something on fire, handed it to Golem Labs, said good luck, and then they just dipped. They essentially just fucked right off the server and didn't tell anyone. They didn't give any moderator powers to anyone in the Discord server, and someone is posting furry porn all over that server. So um, this has been a shit show from the absolute start. Um, the best way to say it is that it was a shit show. Um, I was not communicated to whatsoever during the release of this game. They essentially were not showing us any of the military gameplay. They weren't showing us any of the gameplay. They were only giving us these uh, like little tutorial gameplay videos, which were interesting at first. But it's just like there's certain things like, why are you not showing this? And there was a lot of reasons why they weren't showing it. The game was unfinished. They released an unfinished game. Whoever had the control over the release date should have uh, uh, not released this game. The publisher should have stopped it and put the brakes on it, said, we're going to continue financing you, but we need you to delay this game. We need you to push it off because this game is not finished. And Golem Labs should have looked at it and said, okay, we need to, we need to polish this game more. But the reason that they said that they, they just wanted this game out is because this game has been just burning away at them for about four years they wanted to get done with this game it's not that they didn't care and their reasoning they essentially just wanted to be done they wanted to be done with the game they wanted to be done uh with developments and just move on to the to the bug fixing phase and whenever it came to uh pre-release there's allegations that essentially that the alpha testers they were not listening to the alpha testers and essentially it came down like there was like a a message to the superpower community the the way thq was treating the community was absolutely atrocious they were banning people left and right there's a person that i've spoken to about this essentially they got banned for just having a joseph stalin uh, profile picture they weren't posting anything bad they weren't posting porn or anything like that they just had a joseph stalin profile picture and they got banned because they didn't want to change that profile picture and there was a lot of other stuff there was a lot of people that were doing some stupid stuff in that server and those people probably should have been banned but at the same time there was a like a bunch of cases in which people were getting banned for literally no reason. They just had this very oddly strict control over the server because I guess maybe they just felt like it. And that's just me spitballing, kind of like just guessing because there was no communication on this game. There was no communication when it was coming out. Whenever I got access to it about a week before the game came out, they essentially, I was trying to, I was kind of telling them like, dude, this game is not finished. What are you releasing? Like, the, 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 this is going to be, like, horribly reviewed whenever it comes out. They didn't say anything. They ignored me. Whenever it came to the idea of this exact scenario happening, I was saying, are you guys pulling support? I've asked them on multiple occasions. Are you pulling support? Are you pulling support? I asked THQ. THQ tells me to go to Golem Labs. Golem Labs tells me to go to THQ. They kept pointing at each other. They kept saying, go talk to this person, to go talk to that person. No one wanted to talk to anyone. And small teams trying to deal with literally, what, over a thousand people in these Discord servers? Like, it's difficult. It's difficult to deal with these communities. But if you're not communicating with your community and I mean, it kind of shows your true colors if you just if you just say, oh, I'm just going to pull out of the server entirely and not tell anyone anything and let someone post furry porn willy nilly because we just don't care. 
They essentially just shot a dog, watched it bleed out, and didn't give it any medical attention. And that's what it kind of feels like with this game. However, Golem Labs did make some bad decisions. They looked at this game and they were they were burnt out. They they were done with the development. They knew they were releasing a unfinished game because it burned them out. They had been working on this game forever since 2018, 2019. The pandemic hit, and then there was delays because of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. And it, it, it again, it was a shit show for Golem. It was a shit show for THQ, and it was a shit show for the community. And a lot of people are disappointed. Like, we've been waiting for this game for 10 years. I've been waiting for this game since 2012, since I started playing it. A lot of people have been waiting for it since 2004, when Super Power 2 came out. Super Power 1 and Super Power 2 were panned by critics when it came out. Super Power 2 was called Buggy, and it didn't exactly kind of pick up again until... Uh, about maybe 10 years later, whenever everyone kind of picked up on it and was just like, oh, this is a cool game. They kind of modded it. They fixed it and everything like that. And that's whenever Golem kind of came back and was just like, oh, people are playing this game again. And what, they sold like 100,000 copies since 2004. And a lot of those copies started to get sold like in the later years, kind of like up to 2014. It's disappointing to see a game come to an end like this. But again, it wasn't exactly new it wasn't exactly out of the blue, but they could have handled this so much better. They could have looked at this and said, well, you know, we're going to we're going to try to support this game for about a year. They held they held on to this game for like four months and they just said, OK, your reviews are trash. You're never going to be able to recover this game and just pulled out. And if I was the publisher, I would have, unless, you know, my publishing company was in some pretty dire financial straits. I don't know the financial um, issues of uh, THQ, but um, this this could have been communicated better. There was no communication. No one cared to give any communication. And and it really shows because because of how this has transpired tonight. This has been an embarrassment for Golem Labs. This has been an embarrassment for THQ. And it's been an embarrassment for the community. I really hope that Golem Labs is able to find another publisher that we're able to continue to try to develop this game into its full potential. I know Golem Labs wants to develop this game into its full, full potential. So I hope that they are able to find one. However, it's going to be extremely difficult because they're going to go like, okay, what's your portfolio? What have you released recently? They're going to look Superpower 3, 6% reviews, and they're going to go, yeah, no, no, we're not going to do that. So it's going to be extremely difficult for them to find a, a publisher, but I'm going to be um, very happy if they're able to do that. And hopefully this pu next publisher is going to be a lot better than THQ. The worst case scenario of this is that Golem Labs goes into bankruptcy. From what I'm hearing, it's going to be extremely difficult financially for um, Golem Labs. And there's a, I mean, from what I am inferring, there's a maybe a medium possibility, strong possibility of bankruptcy for um, Golem Labs. Hopefully it never comes to that point. I never would like to see that happen. Um, but I just absolutely would like to see this game be successful. But this is a major roadblock. And again, like this has been a embarrassment for the community and an embarrassment for my channel as well. I mean, whenever the game came out, I was sitting here telling you guys like, this game is, I should have communicated better. I should have said, you guys are going to be disappointed and we're going to talk about why you're going to be disappointed whenever it comes out on October 7th, around October 6th, whenever I previewed it. And I should have communicated better. That is my fault. I will, I am definitely learned from that situation. I should have been better. Um, I was not as hard as I should have been on the publishers or the developers, um, I, I should have handled that situation a lot better. And a lot of you guys, I was trying to say, you know, look on the bright side. I'm personally an optimist. So that's why you guys heard me saying there's 400 changes coming out. There's 400 builds coming out that became the meme and there's a lot of changes coming out. So I just want to want you guys to know that hopefully this is, this is not, um, going to look bad tomorrow and that's whenever you kind of sh noticed my shift in tone the next day whenever I 
um, played it officially on release day and everyone else got their hands on it. That's why the previous day, October 6th, you were like, oh, this game is kind of cool. I wanted to be on the bright side. I wanted to, I wanted to hope I was being told a lot of stuff by the developers and publishers and they were saying, there's a lot of changes coming out. There's like a two or three gigabyte update that's going to come out um, around this time, Austria time. That never that update didn't come out until like a week later. And I'm, I, I feel embarrassed that um, I feel like I misled a lot of you guys. I know you guys a lot um, maybe feel like I misled you. And for that, I do apologize. There was a lot of uh, mistakes that were made on my part. And I am learning from those mistakes on this channel to make sure that I am able to um, to approach these next geopolitical games this year very much differently. World Warfare and Economics is going to be a new one. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, I was never paid a single cent by THQ or Golem Labs for my good comments on this game. I was told a couple minutes ago on Discord basically saying like, like, like you're not hard enough on these people. And a lot of people kind of assume, and, and this is like a lot what a lot of people do, um, especially toward content creators, basically, if you don't hear like negative stuff from us, you essentially kind of assume that we're getting paid for it. And I will tell you guys with the utmost honesty, I have not been paid a single cent by Golem Labs or THQ for any positive things that I have ever said about superpower. Um, I don't even think that's how it works whenever it comes to saying positive things. I, I'm an optimist. I wanted to look at this game as a positive. I wanted to look at this game as a game that could be better. And and uh, in some ways, I did screw up the ball whenever it came to honestly reviewing this game. I kind of confused my own personal feelings along with me being a content creator and previewing a new game coming out for you guys. And I confuse those a lot. And I, again, I apologize for that, for those mistakes. Um, so World Warfare and Economics, all eyes are on you now. And I'm going to be making a video about tomorrow, I guess. Um, this is going to go up uh, probably on the 17th because I have to ep edit it and upload it and everything. So you guys are probably going to see this on the 17th, even though I'm recording it like 30 minutes before the 17th. Um, but essentially, um, all eyes are on world, world warfare and economics and power and revolution 2023. Um, there's also a couple other games you can go uh, look on my list that I made, um, which you can find like right here. And, um, yeah, so, uh, all eyes are on world warfare and economics. Look forward to a video about tomorrow for that. And I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and take care.